Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and today I just want to do a quick video about what I'm currently reading and what I'm planning to read in April. As you may have noticed, my voice has gone ever so slightly. I think I'm just at the beginning of a cold, so please excuse the slight ASMR vibes here. This is just the volume that I can speak at at the moment. This is also why I have decided to do a TBR video today rather than my wrap-up for March, which would require a lot more talking. You may have also noticed that the last video I uploaded which I'm going to link up here, doesn't actually have me in it at all. It's all about my cat beetle and I recommend you check it out because it is very, very cute. Nothing to do with books though. So my TBR for April doesn't really have a theme as such. I looked at the um, OWL magical readathon that's currently going on because as a massive Harry Potter fan, of course, I was very intrigued by the idea of that. But I actually looked at the reading challenges and they weren't really, they weren't really to my taste. There was nothing there that I could really obviously pick off my TBR shelf behind me and read for that. And I'm not going to go out and just buy a bunch of books that fit those briefs. So I'm not participating in that. I'm saying that specifically because some commenters have asked me if I'm going to. I would love to, I like the idea of it, but the challenges themselves just don't really speak to me this year. But I hope that everyone who is participating in the OWL readathon uh, really enjoys it and has a fantastic time feeling like they are in Hogwarts studying for their exams. I really do think it's a wonderful, a really sweet concept for a readathon. So then let's get into the one book that I am currently reading and the one book that I am technically currently reading. And the book that I'm actually currently reading, Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. And I feel like I've mentioned this a lot over the past few months, first in TBR videos and then once I've actually picked it up. This is taking me quite a long time to get through. So even though it's under 300 pages long, I'm only just under halfway of the book. It is a really beautiful book. I'm enjoying it a lot, but it's not a book that you can read quickly. When I read this, I notice that I go through a lot less of the book per minute of reading it. I just can't read this book very quickly. It's a very beautiful epistolary novel, although it isn't really letters. It's just a single long letter from an aging father to his young son. And it's kind of all over the place. It doesn't really have much of a plot. It's mostly just this father who is also a preacher in 1950s America. It's mostly just about him recounting his life stories uh, with some anecdotes from his childhood and some anecdotes from his father's childhood and some anecdotes from his grandfather's life. So it is, it is lovely to read. It is incredibly well written, but it's not an easy book to read just because of the structure of it, just because of the lack of plot. Now that's exactly the sort of book that I love, so I'm not complaining about it, but it is definitely the reason why I'm not getting through this as quickly as I thought I would. But like I said, I'm halfway through. I'm pretty certain I am going to finish this one in April. Next up is my read for my Four Centuries project. This is a project I'm running this year in which I read four novels from Four Centuries, starting in 1719, going all the way up to 2019. And the second book I'm reading for that, published in 1819, is, this is very small, Das Fräulein von Scudery by E.T.A. Hoffmann, or Mademoiselle de Scudery as it's called in translation. There have been a few people who have expressed their interest in buddy reading this with me, and I'm very keen to buddy read this with people. It is a very, very short book. It's under a hundred pages. It's a novella rather than a novel. So if you are interested in reading this with me, I am planning to read this in the last week of April. I don't think it's going to take more than a week to get through this. So if you are up for reading Itter Hoffmann with me in the last week of April, please comment down below so I can organize something. Now, I don't know if people prefer to use Voxer or Twitter or make a Goodreads group. So please comment with your preference for how you would like to do this buddy read. The book that I am 
technically currently reading, and this is almost embarrassing to admit, is The White Witch by Elizabeth Googe. Yes, I started this in, I believe, November last year. And this is a buddy read with Amber from Amber Unabridged, channel link down below. And we both just kind of drifted off it because it is quite a slow moving book. We made it through a good, a good third of it. And we've decided to pick it up again in April. Hopefully this time we'll finish it and I can banish this off my currently reading forever. The thing is, it's not a bad book at all. It's just very old fashioned in its writing style. This is a historical novel which is set during the English Civil War. And this, the book itself is written in the 50s, I believe. So it's a very different kind of historical novel to what we're used to today, but it is rather interesting. And I do think I'm going to enjoy it. I just have to kind of get back into it. You know, when you take a long break from a book and then it's really difficult to, to, get, to pick it up again and get back into it. Yeah, that's what's happening now. But Amber and I will get back on it. Now, this is a book that I ha I've been reading for weeks now, but I haven't specifically mentioned it in a sort of TBR or currently reading video. And it's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The reason why I am reading this is because I'm doing a Harry Potter podcast. Again, it's all linked down below in the description box if you want to check out that podcast. And in my podcast, which is called Have a Biscuit Potter, I discuss one chapter of the book every single week going through it. I've just uploaded the episode for chapter eight of this book, so I'm about halfway through it. Harry Potter is a book series I know inside out, so I don't even register it as reading when I do, if that makes sense, which is why it's not even listed on my Goodreads uh, as being currently read. I'm not going to do a review of this when I finish, I just wanted to mention it now because technically that's a book I'm reading. Let's get to the new books I want to pick up in April. And because I have so many books that I've currently got going, I've only actually put two books on this TBR. That's just me being realistic. At the moment, my reading is going quite slowly. I'm not getting through as many books as I want. I'm certainly not getting through the five books a month that I have set myself as the reading goal, but I'm not stressing myself out about this. I know that there will be a time during the year where I can make up for that. Usually I read a little bit more in the summer and then when things like Jane Austen July or Victoba come up, I read a lot more. So there are only two completely new books that I have added to my pile of books I'm reading for April. And the first one is one that I bought in Germany and it is a historical crime novel set in the region of Germany that I am from. So this is the Glasmacherin by Birgit Hermann, which means the glassmaker, the female glassmaker, for being grammatically correct here. And it says here that it is a historical Black Forest crime novel. What about that is not to love. The Black Forest, like I said, my region of Germany, as you can see here, gorgeous, really gorgeous landscape. It's, uh, it very, very obviously lends itself to a dark crime mystery. And this is set, it doesn't actually say on the back when it's set. It doesn't actually say at all when it's set. Huh. I guess we'll see. I'll tell you more about it when I've read it. This is quite a big book, but I assume it's going to be a fun read because obviously I know the area, I know the landscape. This is really feeding my uh, sense of longing to be back in the Black Forest because it is just a really gorgeous part of the world. Look up pictures of it if you haven't been there. And then the last book that I'm planning to read in April is one of my comfort reads. Every month I try and include at least one book that I know I'm going to enjoy, that I have no doubts about, that it's not a risk, that it's not, you know, something where I'm not quite sure. Uh, and the book that I've picked for this month is Pyramids by Terry Pratchett. I'm very slowly making my way through the Terry Pratchett series, not in any particular order, but just kind of picking up the books here and then when I feel like it. Pyramids, I believe, is a uh, standalone novel. I don't think this is part of a series at all. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be funny. It's going to be uh, 
incredibly well-written story with wonderfully hilarious characters and a nice little adventure full of twists and turns like what we're used to from Terry Pratchett. So this is my fun read that I know I'm going to enjoy and that I can just pick up whenever I feel like it. And uh, that was my currently reading and TBR for the month. So even though I said it wasn't many books, but if I managed to if I manage to read all of the books, minus the Harry Potter, because I'm reading that one at the speed of one chapter a week, but if I manage to read all of the other books, then that's, that is actually five novels finished in April, which would be hitting my Goodreads reading challenge target. We'll see about that. So anything left for me to say at the end? No, um, let me just remind you again, if you are planning to buddy read Das Fräulein von Scudery with me, then comment down below so we can get something organized and I'm planning to read this in the last week of April though of course if that is something you really can't do but you really want to buy a reader with me we can arrange a different date as well. So the next video if my voice comes back will be the March wrap-up um, if not then I'm afraid you'll have to wait a little bit longer for that. I'm sure I'm sure you'll survive. Thank you for watching. Bye!